Split Gate is rich with elegant mechanics that can be used to devastating effect. Slick and creative portal usage can have you running rings around your opponents, but to truly dominate, you will also need accurate aim that is suited to the unique gameplay found in Split Gate. To warm up and train your Split Gate aim, we have a specially curated playlist in Kovacs which can be found in the online playlist tab. Let's take a look at some of the key variables that will influence how you should be aiming. Relative to other popular FPS games, Splitgate has a decently long time to kill, slower movement, and no instant acceleration. To clarify that last point, a game like Overwatch has instant acceleration, so you can change direction instantly, leading to extremely effective left and right strafing known as AD strafing. Alternatively, Splitgate has slower acceleration, making AD strafing less effective, so players will tend to extend their strafes for longer distances. With most regular weapons like the Assault Rifle and Carbine, headshots will do around 30% more damage. Aiming for center of mass and landing only body shots won't cut it if you're planning on dominating lobbies. These variables combined mean aiming in split gate focuses heavily on precision rather than reactivity. Generally speaking, split gate tends to favor medium to lower sensitivities that offer higher accuracy as their usual downside of being penalized by erratic enemy movement doesn't really apply. Try not to get too caught up in converting a mouse sensitivity to split gate. With the unique aiming requirements, you'll be better served experimenting until you find settings that feel right. To speed up that process and to better utilize a lower sensitivity, we recommend giving yourselves a few throwaway games to test it. Starting with something that feels way too low and then incrementally increasing it every couple of engagements. Take note of when your settings start to feel good and when it starts to feel too high and you're suddenly over aiming and you know you've gone too far, you can just wind it back a notch or two to hone in on what sensitivity let you perform best. Smoothbot Switch Robots is excellent for dialing in both vertical and horizontal tracking against long strafing targets, much like you would see with players jetpacking around or launching themselves through portals. The trick with smooth and accurate aim against long strafes is determining the speed and trajectory of the target as soon as possible. If you know where they are going and how fast, matching their speed with your crosshair will give you incredibly accurate tracking. Shooting while falling 30 targets is a great scenario for coordinating your aim while you are jetpacking through the air and particularly if you're dropping out of elevated portals. This can be tricky at first, so don't be discouraged if the first few rounds go poorly you'll see some improvements really quickly. Splitgate Carbine Robots features humanoid targets with high health that either run along the ground or fly through the air, providing Carbine practice against the two typical player movements found in Splitgate. With semi-automatic weapons like the Carbine, you must find a delicate balance between both tracking and flicking. The idea is to track the target as closely as possible and to micro flick or micro adjust onto the head each time the weapon is ready to fire. The shorter the distance you have to adjust for each shot, the better your accuracy will be. If you lazily track the target and have to do exaggerated flicks for every shot, your accuracy is going to suffer. We highly recommend you check out the full playlist in Kovacs and experience what it can do for your aim in Splitgate. To bring everything together, there is one simple trick that is especially potent for games with the movement and time to kill of Splitgate, and that is focusing on your target. It may sound simple and obvious, but there is a huge difference between looking at a target and focusing on a target. For example, if you're looking at a ceiling fan, it's a blur of movement, but if you really try, you can focus on a single blade spinning around and that's the difference between looking at something and focusing on it. Focusing will allow you to absorb more information about the target's speed and trajectory, while also helping keep them centered on your screen for improved tracking. Give this skill a shot in the Kovacs playlist to get used to the feeling, and then take it for a spin in Splitgate and notice the difference in your accuracy and ability to predict and judge enemy movements. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please give it a like. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Subscribe for more content like this, and we'll catch you in the next one.